Reaching you live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. We're back again with sports this morning. I'm Austin Okonakpan. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia. I'm over. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tayo Salah. Tayo, Cecilia, and of course, you, wherever mm. you are watching us, I'm sure you're wondering what happens to Nigerian teams in the CAF Champions League. What a story. Rivers United traveled to Sudan with so much expectation. It didn't happen. And they were expecting Enugu Rangers to do the impossible against Zamalek. That again didn't happen. Guys, it's end of the road. Yeah, Oof. none of them could do a PSG rather. Or rather, one of them actually did a PSG and okay. the other could not do a Barcelona. <laughs> That's the way it oh happened my. in the CAF Champions League. Of course, they will be going to the cap competition. Stop. Disappointing end, though. Yeah. Disappointing, Cecilia Ooh. Austin. There's not two ways about it. Uh. Consolation Prize is the CAF Confederation Cup. Uh. Not good enough. That's still a distraction because both teams are not doing so well. Yeah, End distraction, but it's still a trophy to win. So, they, at the end of the day, if they go far and win that trophy. Okay, the holders of that trophy actually dropped also from the CAF Champions League to the <laughs> CAF Competition. So, I'm talking about tipping the well, So, the Rangers are even, be you better watch it. Mm. Watch out for that. Now, talking about Nigerian professional football league, man, day 14, we'll also get us talking. Yes. And the big one for the weekend was a thriller between Ifa and Yuba and, of course, Economy Warriors. Five goals thriller. Mm. In it was and the man Stephen you know, they just give it to him he has scored 10 goals this season mm. mfm hosted Plato united on sunday and they won that one two goes to one ah and the man Stephen you know, they scored both goals in that particular match in cecilia austin everything it touches turns to goals mm. not gold yeah mm. let's move on now from football to tennis after two weeks of tennis action in indian wells roger federer and elena visnina have emerged champions of the bnp paribas open in california uh cecilia austin i don't know if you're surprised uh that roger federer you know after winning the australian open is mm. gone on uh, to win his um 25th uh masters wow. uh 1000 events i mean wow. cecilia it is just incredible the resurgence uh continues uh, for roger you know last season ended very uh you know prematurely for him because of injury, boys come back, you know, I with know. so much vengeance. It's incredible. There's a lesson to learn from Roger Federer. You know, yeah. when you, when you feel you're no longer winning mm. and you're having some issues and all that, just take a break and come mm. back. I mean, smarter. I, I mean, ninetieth title he's won. He said wow. he's even surprised. He's the oldest man to actually always oh. win at Indian Wells. And wow. of Jimmy Connors and Jimmy Connors was mm. 31. He's 35 and he's winning this title right now. Roger Federer has won 90 career titles. Jeez. Nine. And it's there. Gracious goodness, oh. Tyus Cecilia. What a story this guy is giving to the world of tennis. At the time, I was worried for him. You know, when uh, we were about to start the Australian Open, we we're talking about his back, his back, his yeah. back. He says, watch, watch this space. And then he went on to win. He said, you're still worried about my back? <laughs> I'm, I'm winning again at the BMW Paribas. Prestigious tennis tournament. Yeah, and I'm Roger Federer telling these guys, look, I'm not ready to quit. Yeah, Cecilia Austin, after the Grand Slam, it's the ATP 1000 event. I wow. mean, they're as big and as prestigious mm. as the Grand Slams as well. To so far, wow. uh, Roger Fer Federer to actually have it this, you know, uh, I wouldn't say easy against, uh, against the local... You know, rival in Stan Vavinka, uh, yeah, not easy because he ended 6-4 and 7-5 and uh, was a very convincing win for uh, Roger Federer on the night. Well-deserved win, uh, Cecilia, 25 now and counting because um, based on, on his form, uh, you can't totally look past him when it comes to the next one in Miami. I mean, he has to be one of the favorites. Uh, the, the big boys are already pulling out. No, Andy Murray is injured. Ooh. Novak Djokovic is injured as well too. And Roger Federer, what even makes this one more impressive is the fact that he came out of the group of death. Of death, yeah. Silly, yeah. right? We're looking at that group. We're having wow. a Nishikari. Um, Jack Sauce actually took care of him. He yeah. uh, was supposed to meet uh, Nick Kyrgios. Of course, Nick Kyrgios said he had food poison and all that. Mm. So he pulled out and everything. Yeah, and the yeah. only, yeah. Uh, you know, and of course, <laughs> he, he, he took out uh, Rafael yeah. Nadal earlier. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he was the sole man left in, in that particular group. And on the other side, you have Stan Vavrinka was left. He was able to maneuver his way up to the final. Vavrinka I think I was actually making his first appearance in this tournament, That's right. but then he got to the final. And when you're facing the Swiss master, you know what to expect. That's right. Yeah. I mean, they're both Swiss brothers, but one is bigger than the other. And and that's the master. Fedra is Fedra now finds it so easy to beat Vavrinka. Remember, the Federal at the Australian Open on the final, and then he made this one look easy again. Guys, what he's saying to us is 
Talk about the kind of shikori for as long as you want and the crayons and the rest. I'm and still here. I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I'm, I'm Fed Express. He is still, he's still the master. I mean, yeah. there's not two ways about it. Actually, going into that final, uh, Federer had a superior head to head. Uh, I was 19-3, they were about 9-23. Yeah. On that court, it was 14 mm. nails. Yeah. So it was, yeah. you know, yeah, I Everyone's wasn't really expecting be. anything, oh. anything totally different uh, in, in terms of the outcome. So congratulations to Roger Federer. Let's go and listen to uh, to the Indian Wells uh, master or Indian Wells champion, uh, <laughs> Roger Federer. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look what a dream start this is. I can't believe it still that it's really happening. And I think that was also my reaction after match point was over. I was like, oh my God, look, I got an opening. Just put it in there and it's all over and it was all over. And it, it, it felt so good, you know, and then the confetti was flying. You're holding up a trophy and you're standing there. The music's playing and the crowds are standing. And uh, it's, it's an incredible start to the year. I can't believe it. I mean, last year I didn't win any titles. It was such a difficult year and I'm still only in my comeback. And I'm able to play such great tennis. It's such a, it's such a treat. And um, look, I'm going to celebrate the 90th title. You know, a lot tonight, tomorrow, and the next day until Miami rolls around, and then we'll try to play good tennis there again. My racket helps me with extra power these days. It's not like it used to be where I had to generate most of it by myself, and I had a, a lot of accuracy. Um, so that that's good. And honestly, if I'm in good shape. I mean, the serve is going to work, you know, the question is, is the footwork going to be there, is the mind going to be there, that's what I have to worry about, and that's what I'm going to be speaking to the team about, how we're going to um, do the best job possible, that I will always be um, energized and excited when I walk on court. Without playing, for the time being, we'll probably go up in the rankings, you know, things look good, but uh, my, my goal last November, December was to be maybe top eight by after Wimbledon, and here I am already number six or seven, I'm not sure what my ranking is, so I'm, I'm very pleased, you know, so from that standpoint, I have zero pressure there, I can just play freely or not play at all, and just really go back into the gym, go back into the practice court, and then come back really strongly to the tour, but I mean, first things first, I'll focus on Miami, try to back it up from here, and, and then we'll see where we go from there. Indian Wells champion master Roger Federer, and with his victory, um, his fifth in California, uh, Federer will actually rise to sixth in the latest ATP uh, world ranking, that's from 10 to, fi uh, 10 to 6. Wow. And Cecilia Austin, wow. that's um, a massive move. Just imagine uh, when, 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 when the Australian Open uh, draw was being done, yeah. when the seed was being done, like, okay, Roger Federer is outside top 10, mm -hmm. he's 17. Mm -hmm. now, and from there, he moved to 10. Incredible. Right now, Six. What a start. Okay. And top what a four star. is actually we, we college. Yeah, yeah, it, is. Yeah, it doesn't have much <laughs> to no, more points to defend. It doesn't have yeah. points to defend uh, for now. So definitely, wherever he gets to, it's going to be more points for him. So impossible mm. is nothing. Absolutely. Once again, Absolutely. impossible is nothing. Okay. Are, we looking at, are we looking at what number one? Okay, why not? That's a long shirt. Yeah, it's a long <laughs> shirt, but why not? Look at the steady progress he's making. Right now, he's unstoppable. Nobody wants to meet Roger Federer. Exactly. 90th career title. Yes, And the guys that are supposed to be the front runners that's Anna Murray and um no, no, telling us stories we don't want to hear. I mean we so have it's to been to check out what's going on you know, <laughs> whether they're just fighting you know. it's been a it's been a bit shaky for <laughs> yeah. uh, for those two guys. So uh, that's not a reason why uh, Federer can't you know close uh, the gap on he will. Uh, yeah he will not, do that. No reason. Let's move to someone as well who wants yep. to break into the top ten talking about Elena Vesnina. She survived a three-hour marathon wow. to beat Sevlena Kuznetsova, 6-7, 7-5, 6-4. It was a mid sun, and she was able to survive that, winning the title, the biggest, you know, of, of, course. of her career. Yeah. And not only that, it's the first time she's winning it. And at 30, well, she, she coming into this tournament, she was seeded 13. Well, right now, I mean, no, when the ranking comes out, she's going to be 13, she's going to be 13 yeah. and all. So I think she this drops. is... A wonderful one for her and she says if she had to continue with this kind of victory and hopefully before the end of the year she would just be in the top 10. Why not? I mean why not Cecilia? Why not? I mean uh, biggest win of her career. Uh, no doubt about it. Now uh, she came into the tournament ranked uh, 15th. Okay. So the two places now she's going to move and um, use it. As a, as a, as that's, a, that's motivation yeah. for her right there. Yeah. And um, we all know that the tour, the WTA tour sometimes can be very um, you know, unpredictable and um, players like Vesnina um, 
uh, Elena can actually you know, take advantage of that situation. I mean, injuries are cropping up again. Uh, Serena is injured, and um, uh, Angelic Keba hasn't been too consistent. Yeah. So, you know, these are the things that happen on, uh, on tour uh, for the women. And I wouldn't be surprised if um, Elena actually, you know, takes advantage and to have a very great season. That's right. And I mean, if you, if you pine on strong, if you can hold on to, you know, ours in tennis at yes. 30, then it means we can watch you closely. Yeah, and I mean, sure. there's just something about winning when you least expect to win. It just, it spoils you in ways you least expect. I don't see right there. This is the last one. Three hours in the, in the yeah. sun. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. quite wow. hot wow. on wow. the day, yeah. Wow. So, so that's it. Um, information that you can use. Roger Federer won the men's category at the BMP Paribas. And of course, we just told you uh, that Elena Vesnina defeated Akotsasova to win the female version. That's the information you can use. Let's listen to Elena. We can tell you more. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. But uh, as I said before, the most important for me is uh, title, you know, wins, uh, big wins in front of the crowd like here in Indian Wells. This is the most important thing, my game, you know, and if I will have this kind of consistency through the whole tournament, through the whole year, I think I will be in top 10 at the end of the of the, of the year or <laughs> and present to you your 2017 singles champion look at her with that beautiful Bokhara trophy ladies and gentlemen Elena Vesnina oh goodness that was almost a major forced error they scared Elena Vesnina with the shower of confetti and that bang if she had knocked that Bokhara trophy off of that stand that would have been a very costly moment but it's not to be. The day is nothing but bright stories, and what an absolutely phenomenal performance by Vestina all week long. To it was costly what Vestina can actually keep those moments, guys. I mean, <laughs> nothing can take it's away the, the, the sweet moments. Yeah, it's, and the little shock is okay. It's part of the paparazzi, uh, right there, but it's okay. Uh, she's champion, and that's what matters. Mm. Yeah, just didn't happen. It didn't happen. She, she, did, her. she did run away. Yeah, yeah. Let's, she did. Okay. Let, let's see what she brings to the party at the Miami Open. Yeah, that's yeah. what the big one. Another Masters 1000. Okay, have the ladies already cheering up for that. Let's talk go for now on the Arnold Palmer Invitational in Florida. And at the weekend, they have a new winner, Australian Mark Leshma. Yeah. I mean, that's a good one. Yeah, Mark Leshman, second PGA Tour title. And um, it was a very dramatic one, uh, Austin and Cecilia, yeah. the way he came back uh, to overall uh, the lead of um, Kevin Kisner and Charlie Hoffman. Um, wow. Yeah, good one for uh, Mark Lishman, the Australian. And uh, for the likes of uh, Rory McIlroy, Jason Day, um, they were not too um, spectacular over the four days uh, of the competition. Um, only one man uh, gets to win his titles. And, um, it is Mark Lishman. Yeah. Congratulations to him. Big, big time, you know. And again, uh, speaks well. The Arnold Power Invitation is a very uh, prestigious one, also. Yeah. I mean, the name tells you that yeah. it's very, very important. <laughs> uh, Mark Lishman. Um, so we haven't spoken much about this no, guy. We and, but that's what success does. So you see now, the next time we get to hear about him, expectations. Uh, mm -hmm. It's expected of him to go to win again. I mean, exactly. if, you, if, you play, um, if you play golf with the likes of Rory McIlroy, uh, Jason Day, and all the big guys, yeah. and actually you're trailing or sharing points overnight, and then you overtake. Not as sweet as when you overtake mm -hmm. someone yeah. you know, in an yeah. event. And I think Lishman can actually use this experience uh, to take his golf to the next level. Yeah, no doubt about that, um, Austin. I mean, I was saying um, at the start of the PGA Tour that this season is going to be very competitive. competitive yes. Remember, uh, Cecilia said it, and that was the, that was that was my fears uh, as regards uh, Tiger Woods actually, you know, being able to compete with these guys because just too many talented uh, golfers on tour this but this season. Now we're starting to see examples and multiple winners already, both um, at the European um, tour as well as the PGA Tour. So. Um, once again, congratulations to uh, Mark Lishman. Uh, he's the winner of the Arnold Palmer Invitation. Uh, the first one since uh, the great Arnold Palmer wow. passed. Oh, wow. Uh, in September. Which makes it very significant. Very, he got it 69 mm. to finish at 11 on the, on the part 277. Yeah.